can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Uh, the winch on the truck is used to hoist the garbage bin onto the bed of the truck. If the loaded bin has a weight of 8,500 pounds and the center of gravity a G, determine the force in the cable needed to begin the lift. And the coefficients of the satisfaction at A and B are mu A, which is 0.3, and mu B, which is 0.2, respectively. Neglect the height of the support A. Well, this is important because uh, this is telling us that A to B is exactly, there's no incline here, right? The distance between A and B is exactly what's given, uh, which is 22 feet over here. So yeah, first step, uh, doing any statics question, I mean, basically after uh, chapter five, or I would say, is always, always uh, go, just go for the global equilibrium, right? Try and find as many forces as possible. So uh, for this, we can use the some of the forces into in the um, some of the moments at B, which give us NA, right? And NA, NA, and the friction at A is dependent on NA, so which is really good. Give us two forces. Uh, let's begin. So some of the moments at B going in this direction is positive, give us zero, right? Uh, this would be. Na is going to a clockwise, so Na times uh, 22 feet, which is negative, right? Plus uh, 8,500 pounds. You know this is creating a counterclockwise direction, which is positive, right? Times the distance from the force to the moment of point, which is uh, 22 feet over here. And there's no any other force, so this is zero, right? That can generate a moment on point B. So plug everything into your calculator. Uh, Na should give you for around uh, 4,632 pounds, right? And um, force in the cable, and that's it. So they're only asking for T. Cool. So NA is this, and um, now we have to use the sum of the forces in Y and X direction, which is cool because we only left with two unknowns, one over here, one over here, right? So we can write, um, you know, do a uh, two times three matrix. So here we go. So let's begin with uh, going up is the positive, some of the forces in the y direction give us a zero, zero some of the forces, right? Uh, so that would be 4,636 uh, 4, pounds, that's going back back up, that's Na, it's positive, right? Minus 8,500 uh, pounds, it's going negative, and um, plot minus the friction at B, which is in uh, 0.2 times Na, right? And we're looking for the y direction over here. So this is 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees, and going this way, that is the, um, let's see, that is the um, sine of 30, right? Times sine of 30. This is uh, going down. And plus and B uh, times cosine of 30, right? Because if this is 30, then that, that means this is 30, right? Because this is 100. See, this whole thing here is 180. This is 90 degrees. And there there's a force over here. So that means that, you know, this, this thing over here must be equal to this thing over here because this 90 degrees just got moved up by 30. So that means here must be moved by 30. Uh, so times, it's right over here, times cosine of 30. We're looking for the y direction, right? So this is times cosine of 30, which is here. And also plus uh, tension, right? Tension times uh, sine of 30, which is giving the force coming up. So thing give us zero. Uh, you know, 
now we can simplify. So this thing minus this, uh, that give us well, negative 3,864, but if you move to the right side, other side of the equation, so let's just say uh, 3864 equals, um, simplify everything. So t here is 0.5t, right side of 30 is t. Uh, 0 0.2 times uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. So uh, cosine of 30 minus 0 0.1, and uh, that should be 0 0.76605 uh, mb, right? mb over here. And then let's move on to the next set of the equation uh, using the sum of the forces. Uh, in the x direction, give us a zero, right? So, um, what's FRA? FRA, let's just calculate it real quick, equals NA, which we calculate is to be 4,636 times uh, the coefficient at static friction at A, that is 0 0.3. So, FRA should give you 1,390. Uh, Newtons. I mean, sorry, pounds. We're not using the SI unit for this one. We're using the American customary pounds, right? And so it's going to the left, so it's negative 1390 uh, pounds. Minus also MB, right? MB, this force is, its x axis force is going to the left, so MB. Uh, times sine of 30, right? And B times sine of 30. Wait, no, I'm tired. Yeah. And times 0 0.2, right? Oh. Wait, that's not true. Wait, just the sine of 30, right? I'm thinking of, I got confused with the friction and MB for a second. And uh, FRB, which is also negative, it's going to the left, right? But uh, this would be, so this is MB times 0 0.6. And it's going to this direction over here, and it's 30, so it's cosine of 30, right? It's going this way. So times cosine 30. Yeah, I, I was trying to do the other forces, but my, in my brain I was doing the, Newton, the normal force at B. And plus the cosine uh, 30 of t over here, right, of t. And I think that's the complete equation for uh, fx. Uh, this whole thing equals zero. Um, you know, do some arithmetic, so use your calculators. Uh, you should get uh, 6,692.6 minus 1.32 uh, 6 newton, I um, mean normal force at B, minus 0 0.673. And this is the uh, equals to T, right? Equals to T. So you can use uh, substitutions or you can use, um, you know, 2 by 2 matrix by hand. But if you can use your TI-84 plus calculator, there's a way to do it. In this video, I will teach you real quick. So hit second and matrix, second and x to the power of negative 1, which is matrix. Go to edit and select one of these set of the matrix you like to edit. And then hit 2 times enter and hit 3 times enter. Hit enter, uh, which is, gives you a 2 by 3 matrix. And um, so remember T is you know set the first you know so the first column is one I mean, both of these should be uh, the coefficient of the same uh, symbol right so if you're setting the first is t which you say 0 0.5 you know for this question over here that means for the second question you know at the same column it should be also the coefficient in front of t right so 0 0.5 hit enter and hit um, 0 0.5, hit enter, and then hit uh, 0 0.76 is 0 0.5, which is the coefficient of uh, normal force at B, right? Hit enter, 
and then you have the force over here. You know, everything is, it has to be A plus B equals C, right? And they all has to be in positive. That means it's positive. If any of them is negative, then, you know, hit the negative sign on your calculator. So, yeah, and hit 3,864. And the next one, which is, um, so since you assigned first columns to be T, the second column over here it also has to be T. So this this means um, yeah. So this is the wrong equation, wrong wrong value over here. So it should be 0 0.866025 T minus 0 0.673205 um, MB. Right, and this whole thing should gives you 1390.91. Right. I made a little calculation mistakes over there. Um, and yeah, so the first one here is 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8603, uh, right? This is the coefficient of t. And then move on to the next one. Remember, this is negative, so it's negative 0 0.6732 uh, for mb. And then the last column, which is the uh, you know magnitude, which is the pure number, whole number, and uh, 1,390 uh, pounds, right? And then hit second mode, which is quit, and then hit second x to the power of negative one, and then go to right to math, and hit up button, and you see if you know if you have TI eighty four plus, then option B, right, R R E F, should be your option, should be the uh, what you click on, go to that one, hit enter, and then go to second, hit x to the power of negative one. And then hit the whichever the you know a b you know first second third or fourth you know whichever the one you you just edit your um, make sure it's in mine is the first one so I had just go to the first one hit enter and then close the bracket and then hit enter again and it will give you a new result right so your result should look something like this right one zero zero one and uh, three two 3,666 and 2,650, right? What this means is that this, since that you assigned this a T and this is MB, right? So one over here, that means it's a yes, right? One over here means it's a yes. So for T, there is, for T, the number is 3,666, right? So write it up here, um, T equals 3,666. And then over here, so t is zero. So this is not for t. You know what's what is one? What is yes? Is for normal force at b, which is a two thousand six hundred and fifty. I don't think we have to. You know, we have to calculate that, but you know, for the sake of it, might as well, right? Two six five zero pounds. This is pounds as well. And here we go. This is um a little bit challenging question, right? It requires you. It requires you to know the the matrix and you know a lot of the time I guarantee you you know even for me that if I draw the normal you know the free body diagram for you you can solve the problem right it's just little tricks and you know, little uh, instructions over here and there and you know things you gotta pay attention to for example just this last uh, question neglect the height of the support at A right if you don't understand have trouble understanding the last question then you know that can cost you the entire question right and over here as well, you know, what's the normal force? Is the normal force still hitting the ground or is the normal force hitting the ramp, right? If you don't place really close attention, you know, it can really mess you up. And, uh, you know, wh where is the friction going? You know, is the friction hitting the ground, going to the ground, or is it parallel to the ramp, you know, to the winch, right? Um, but uh, with experience, as you do more and more questions, you're starting to see patterns in the exam questions and also in the practice questions. And, uh, you know, Sure, eventually you'll raise more people. You will be able to figure it out. But yeah, hopefully this uh, this video was helpful, and uh, good luck on your courses. I will see you in the future. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.